recap video. I'm having a lot of sound issues, so I am trying to adjust settings, make it so it's easier to hear, and make it so it's not so noisy uh, when I go through and explain how certain things are done in Unity for my stream. So, that's disclaimer number one. The sound might be bad. I'm working on it. Try to get it better, but it's trial and error system at this point. Very tricky. I always seem to have some sound issues with computers. So I'm using my headset mic, which is better than the webcam mic, so it doesn't sound like I'm in a tunnel. But at the same time, it's not as um, loud, and I have to tweak some boost settings, and then it gets kind of noisy, and whatever. So bear with me now that that's out of the way. Let's go over here and look at Unity. I'm going to recap really quickly what we did today, start to finish. Uh, so the, the key thing today was checkpoints, and it was looking at checkpoints, how to deal with checkpoints, and how to get some kind of neat effects with our player in our checkpoints. Um, in our scene here, uh, we have two checkpoints set up. And if we look here, one is a copy of the other. This is a prefab. It's in our prefabs folder. The checkpoint has a sprite on it, it has an animator on it, and if we look at the animator, it's got two states for off and on. It has a parameter called active. Whenever this parameter active is set to true, it toggles onto its on state, which is a green um, kind of happy face that the checkpoint is active. Whenever it's inactive or off, it's in the frowny face. So um, that's how we switch back and forth there. To show you really quickly, I'll hit play. This is the active checkpoint right here, right here in our game window. And then up top is our frowny face checkpoint. And if I collide with this, not really collide, but if I, if I run through, now we see how they switch. And I can jump back over here. I can switch it back again. Right. And the other thing is if I die, There'll be a delay for about three seconds, and then I'll respawn up whichever checkpoint was the active checkpoint. So I come over here, activate this one. If I die, I'll respawn. So let's start off with the checkpoints, explain how those are working. They have a script. We have a script on our player, on our player action, that checks to see if we toggled an object with a game tag checkpoint. If we look at this checkpoint here on a prefab, we can see that it has a tag checkpoint. If that's true, then it registers itself, right? So regardless of whether it's active or inactive, it registers itself. It also switches that Boolean on the animator to either false or true. So the current checkpoint sets it false. The new checkpoint set to true. Um, when we die, we call this function called player death. And that happens either if we die from a bullet or from colliding with an enemy. We spawn some gibbs. We create a death timer that's 2F, which is it's a float, so. Um, and then we turn the death process on to true, and then we turn off a bunch of stuff on the player, like the motor, the collider, um, the rigid body, and the sprite render. So that makes it so you can't see the player, and he's no longer interacting with the environment of the scene. We then de increment the lives that the player has, and we log a message saying that, you know, the game should be over, or it should go to a continue screen. Um, this is for later. We're going to add this scene in um, at another session, uh, probably next weekend. Um, delay has already been added to the player desk, so let me clean that comment up. And then in our update loop, we check that Boolean to see if it's set to true, and then we go through and handle that. So we look at the death timer. If it's greater than zero, we de-increment it by a certain amount. And then if the death timer is less than or equal to zero, then we debug a message saying that the player should be at the checkpoint. We move the player to the checkpoint, and we turn everything that we turned off earlier to show or indicate that he was dead. Even though he wasn't really dead, he was still on the scene. We just turned a bunch of stuff off. We turn that stuff back on, and then we turn the death process off so it can reset again. Um, again, replay really quick how that looks. So we can... Go back over to this checkpoint, we run, and then oh, all of a sudden we hit a bullet. And that's the effect that you get from all of that code. Enjoy.
Uh, this is a recap. All the development that went into this went on throughout the day, so you can look back at old videos to kind of go through and see step by step how I got to this point uh, in the game itself. And then next week we will start to look at uh, sending the player off to the game over screen, as well as being able to destroy the, the bad guy there when we shoot him with our gun. So right now bolts go right through him. Uh, he'll die next weekend. And that's all. Thanks for watching.